Hey, what is good, A team? It's your boy T. Back at it. We ain't got a reaction today. Well, kind of a reaction. You feel me? Um, I told y'all in last week's reaction to the Saints versus the Eagles that I'm gonna be doing these like basically talking style reactions to the actual game instead of checking out the actual highlights because the NFL been playing games with the copyright stuff and all that. So it is what it is, bro. Um, now today, my Saints played the Chiefs, bruh. All the ones who don't know, if you're new to the channel, I'm a Saints fan. Um, we we done lost two in a row now. We lost to the Eagles last week, which we shouldn't have lost. But we did. So that was one of the L's on our record that really, I feel like, we shouldn't have. You feel me? I mean, not not as if we got cheated out of it, but just the fact that we we just let that one slip away. You feel me? Um, so that's that's most definitely tough, but we played the Chiefs today. The final score, I believe, was 32 to 29. Drew Brees, this was his first game back. Um, now, supposedly, we were missing like two to three of our receivers. I know Michael Thomas was out. Um, I, I want to say Emmanuel Sanders was out as well. Um, so we, we, we was definitely a little bit off. off Oh, God, dog, can I talk? We were a little bit off offensively. That's just point blank period. You feel me? Like, it was Breeze's first game back, but he was missing two to three key weapons. Of course, Kamara was still out there. Cook was still out there. Um, but that's tough, bro. I think they said we had, like, three receivers that were starting this game that was coming off of the practice squad. It's tough, bro. And we still, I mean, it was a three point game. Like, we, we lost by three. And we, our defense, though, bro, I just feel like we struggle so much against teams with a, with a mobile quarterback. And I want y'all to get down there in the comments and let me know what y'all think about it, bro. Cause I, like, I feel like, bro, we, we struggle so much when it's a team that has a quarterback that can get outside of the pocket and extend plays. It's like we just don't have nobody who can just hawk that person down. You feel me? Like, our, I, our linemen definitely ain't going to be able to hawk them down. You feel me? Like, unless you just catch them in the pocket. But if they get outside of that pocket, it's like they either got 15 yards to where they can run or somebody else bites on it like one of the linebackers or something, and now he got a wide open receiver in the middle of the field or something. You feel me? Like, there were so many third down, second and like eight, second and ten. Like, Kansas City was getting pushed back on multiple occasions and still kept converting, bruh. I just feel like, and it is Kansas City, so it's like I can't knock our guys too much because that's Kansas City. You feel me? They literally have the best offense in the in the NFL. So it's like, I mean, I can't knock them too much, but it's still like, bro, it was some of those third downs we could have got stops, and they were running the ball and we couldn't get stops on some of the drives. That's my thing. Like we supposed to be good against the damn run, if like anything. You feel me? And we got Le'Veon Bell back there. He Hold it for a quick second, and he up through the damn hole for six yards. I'm like, bro, we can't. Like, it was so many times we had him in the backfield. Should have been either a tackle for a loss or for no gain, and somehow ends up a game for five, a game for seven, game for three, a game for four. It's like, bro, can we get a stop, my guy? Like, if, like, Pat Mahomes is just flinging that thing to touch the – oh, okay, I can understand it, but not – they grinding it out in the run game on us, bro. We supposed to be able to stop that, you feel me? I think we ended up losing um Williams, no, number 43. So we ended up losing him, I think. I want to say that was like the third quarter, or maybe the start of the fourth. Um, Cam Jordan got tossed out because he punched one of the 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 uh, offensive linemen on Kansas City. I get, like they were going back and forth, and he ended up swinging on them. So they threw him out of the game. And we still only lost by three, but it's like it really don't matter how much we – like it don't matter how close of a, a game it actually was because we still lost. You feel me? Like it's like, yeah, you only lost to Kansas City by three, but there were – Kansas City played worse teams, and it was like a five-, six-point game, but it's still like you still lost. You feel me? So that's tough, bro. That's tough. So now we had 10-4. and four. I think we still were the second seed in the NFC. Um, I think it's Green Bay than us than Seattle, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that's tough, bro. Now, I don't know how it works as far as, like, if we say we were to lose these last two games, 
does anything change for us playoff wise? Like, cause we still gonna be in it, I believe. Like, we still haven't clinched our di division yet, if I'm not mistaken. And the Bucks just won today as well. So let, actually, let me go ahead and pull this up, bro. I'm gonna pull up all the standings and all that. Let's see what it's talking about. All right, we got. So, uh, so we gonna have to win one of these, one of these next two, or the Buccaneers might go ahead and clinch that bit, bro. If we was to lose these next two games, that that would be tough. Um, and I believe we got. I know we got the Panthers for the last game. We got the Vikings next week, the Panthers for the last game of the season. So we're going to have to end it off with two wins, bro. That's just what we got to do. Feel me, bro? That's that's tough, man. That loss last week versus Philly really hurt us. But it is what it is, bro. Like, it already happened. So, I mean, it, it is what it is, man. That's tough, though, bro. End of the season. Like, we missed three wide, two to three wide receivers, a couple defensive players, and lost some during the actual game. It's tough, bro. But we, we got to figure something out defensively because it'd be so many. Like, we third down, we let so many teams just continue to convert third downs, bro. And then when, when they do, like, go for it on fourth and three, they don't mind going for it because they like, hey, especially seeing what Philly did last week, went for it like five, six times on fourth down and got it like 90% of the time. Uh, Kansas City, I want to say, went for it like once or twice on fourth down. And I think they converted one of them, if I'm not mistaken. But, bro, we got to figure out something just to get that, that like lock hold on like defense again, bro, to get back to it. You feel me? Because – People starting to, like, run a little bit. I ain't going to say run crazy on us, but they still doing enough. You feel me? And let's see. Breeze through 15 for 34, 234, three touchdowns, one interception. Patrick Mahomes, 26 for 47, 254, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Um, That's tough, bro. And we couldn't get a stop. We had a chance to get a stop and gave up, I think it was like a second and like eight. With a minute and some change left, Travis Kelsey on a little play action, wide open, bro. That's tough. But I still got faith in my boys. Um, like I said, we play the Vikings next week, and then Carolina after that. Carolina. Last game of the season. Now, like I said, I'm doing these reactions in this style for the rest of the season, basically. Whether it's playoffs or whatever the case is, just because I don't want to deal with the copyright. Um, but... I will be in Charlotte for the Saints game in attendance. So your boy will be live streaming that entire game if my phone holds up. You feel me? I'm going to try to bring some like portable chargers and stuff. But I will be in the building for the Saints versus the Panthers. I'm kind of hyped, bro, because this might be Drew Brees last season. So I'll get to see him play in person for the first time. And it's his last season. So hopefully we can pull that game out. Um, but ain't, I don't want to look too far on that. Of course, we got to take care of uh, Minnesota next week. But I'm definitely excited to be in the, in attendance for that game. So y'all stay tuned, bro. I would, like I said, I will be live streaming. Now, I think we got like somewhat nosebleed seats, but I'm going to try to finesse it. You feel me? Anybody who's been to an NFL game this season, y'all let me know how it's set up. It might be different per stadium, but I'm going to try to finesse it. You feel me? I'm going to try to get up close. I got the new iPhone 12, so I got the the little telephoto lens, so I can zoom in, but I want to try and get a little bit closer for y'all um, for the whole live stream and all that. But y'all be sure to tune in the last week of the season. Saints versus the Panthers will be going crazy on the live stream. Either way, bro, like I said, that's tough. We had a chance to still win this. Couldn't pull it out. It is what it is. It looks like we won't get home field advantage unless – or that, that that first week bye unless uh, Green Bay loses the next two games, basically. Because even if they lose one and we win our next two, I think we'll still have uh, even record. So they'll still be ahead of us because they beat us earlier in the season. So that's tough, but it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. You feel me? We got a good – you know what I'm saying? We just got to roll with it at this point. Hopefully we can get some momentum going into the actual playoffs – but it is what it is. I need y'all to get down there in the comments. Let me know what y'all thought about 
the actual game. Let, let me know what y'all thought about how the Saints played this week. What y'all think they could do to improve on those areas they was kind of lacking in this week. And like I said, of course, we dealt with a lot of injuries. So that definitely plays a like big part in it. But y'all get down there and let me know what y'all thought, bro. If y'all got suggestions for new reactions, be sure to drop those down below as well. Hey, man, we on the road to 15K subscribers, 18. I appreciate all the love y'all been showing so far. Let's keep it going. Keep it growing. And like always, say y'all keep coming back, tuning in. I'm going to keep these videos rolling out. We're going to keep getting a lit over here. Catch y'all on the next video.